Lopez in a tight formation. Hands off to Rogers off the right side. Big hole and lost the room. He hit at the eight yard line. That's Costilla. He was that counter, I believe, number 33. Actually, Jeremy Jackson to make the stop, but not before he hands the first down. And it's back inside Gordon territory to the eight yard line. Longhorns are going to find themselves with a pretty big deficit if they don't do something quickly. Lopez with Rogers in the backfield, pitches it back to Rogers. Rogers around the left side, has a hole, makes a move. He's at the five and stops at the two-yard line as he's smothered by Costilla. And that may be Brother Joe. No, that's Brian Barber, I believe, number 21 for the Longhorns, who helps Costilla keep him out of the end zone. But uh, Rogers inches ever closer is now in second goal, and they actually mark him at what looks to be the two-and-a-half-yard line. Hey, Lane, the uh, problem for the Gordon Longhorns, Chris Chamberlain, the end for the Longhorns, 175-pound junior. He is injured. Now on the sideline, he's out of the game right now. That may very well be why Barber's in there. There's a handoff up the middle to Rogers. Touchdown. Touchdown. Quinn Harrell and flag fly all over the place. Boy. Not looking good right now for Gordon as Rogers is on to attempt the extra point. Uh, Tom Arena is offside. Let's see if he makes the kick. He does make the kick. So it's going to be academic that Tom Arena was offside. So he'll decline the penalty. But my goodness. Things are falling apart, at least in the short term, for the Gordon Longhorns. Chamberlain is off with an injury. It is an onside kick. Longhorns. It may have been recovered by Whitehill at the 20 yard line. Let's see if it went 15 yards. If it did, it went. The Longhorns are going to get the ball back, and it may not have gone 15 yards. I don't think it did. Wow, that is inches away. It's going 15 yards, however. And it is going to be a first and 15 for the Longhorns, and I would venture to say that's almost disastrous. Oh, uh, it'd be disastrous. Justin Sullivan picked up the football, and he kept on running. Of course, he, he couldn't afford, he couldn't advance to an offside for it. Oh, that would have been devastating for it. Right now, they're in a hole as it is, down by 20 points. There's a good back to sign for it. He's looking for someone to throw the ball for it. Now throws it back across the field to Costilla, who makes a move now to 25. That has to do with the 30. And it was a good move by Jim Costilla that made anything happen on that play. If he had a defender right in that face, he still had a confidence on it. That's the athletic ability we've seen all season long from Jim Costilla. They've got to get the ball in his hands a bit more often, at least on the receiving end. Pick up of about eight or nine yards. They're going to mark it at the 31 yard line. It's going to bring up. Let's call it a second and seven after a pickup of eight yards. And again from the spread formation, Kosey has Sizemore in an eye formation. Back to Sizemore, he wants to throw the ball. He's in trouble. There's a face mask, and we got flags all over the place. Sizemore is tackled at the 10-yard line. Fortunately for Gordon, one of the Whit Harrell Panthers grabbed his face mask. He went down, so there's the indication on the face mask. I tell you, that couldn't come at a better time because uh, Sizemore was in trouble back on the 15 yard line. Grant. You know, but that, that was just a you know, blatant face that uh, looked like he was going to rip his hand right off of his back. And that's dangerous because it's extremely dangerous on a football field, and there's really no reason for that. Whit Hill is going to pay for that right now because that'll shut the Panthers for a top of the 15. But more importantly, the Longhorns have the ball first and 15 from Whit Harrell's territory at the 15. Here's a reverse around the right side to Sizemore. He has the ball at the 30, makes a move. He's at the 20, and knocked out of bounds at the 17 yard line. And now we have the flag on Whit Harrell as Sizemore gets out of bounds at the 12 yard line. So if the Gordon Longhorns needed anything, they needed a momentum shift. And who's better to give it to them than their go to man all season long, Jason Sizemore? There's the indication of personal foul that occurred after the play was completed. So let's see how they tack this one off. The line of scrimmage after the play would be the 13 yard line, so they should take it half the distance at this point. We have a timeout from the Panthers. We are really at a turning point in this ball game. And the uh, Longhorns find themselves down by three touchdowns by 20 points. So with the opportunity here. The first and goal to go at the eight yard line. You have to believe they need to get in here. Costilla in a tight formation, hands off to John Levin, who hit at the seven yard line, still on his feet, still going his way. He's inside his five. 
took a couple of Panthers to bring him down. He was hit hard at the 80-yard line by two Panthers, and he bounced off that, tried to make a move back inside, and actually ended up picking the yard. Second and goal to go from just inside the five. The ball is nosing over the five-yard line. The clock is running. Six and a half minutes to go. Jordan certainly needs six points here. Tight formation, top arena and side four in the backfield. There's a handoff for side four. No, it's top arena around the left side. As he picks up a couple, and maybe we'll go down to the three-yard line. Let's see where they spot the ball. That is where it is. That is where it is. I guess you can say that. <laughs> they came out, in any case. Uh, at the three-yard line, it's going to bring up third and goal. As the fake was the side four off the right side, I think he had a touchdown. Top arena came around from the left side and was tackled fairly quickly. Here we go, Costia hands off the left, he's off the left side, he's into the end zone. Alan Levin, a big boy, rolling down the field to the three-yard touchdown. And how would you like to be out there on a football field with a 10-man game and have a 265 pounder barreling your way? I wouldn't like it very much. Right now, John Levin has the two touchdowns for the Longhorns, and that is rare to come five minutes deep into the second quarter and Jason Sizemore having not found his way into the end zone. He'll try to add the two points here. He'll just snap it down to kick it down. You may tell from the crowd that Sizemore is perfect. Five minutes, 55 seconds to go and the Longhorns try to inch their way back into the ball game. Wayne Ray says to kick the ball away. He does. He's a deep kick that's going to be taken by Whit Hill. There's a fumble at the 12-yard line that's picked up by Rogers. And he's going to be down immediately at the 17-yard line. Actually, that's not Rogers. That's Matt Thacker. He picks the ball up but doesn't get anywhere as he fumbled it. And was fortunate to get back on it. At least fortunate from his perspective. Not good if you're a Longhorn fan and they need a big play here. Plenty of time, however, for things to settle down for the Jordan Longhorn. 28-16, 5 minutes, 50 seconds to go in the second quarter. And we've got a huge crowd here at the Mustang Bowl watching the six-man state football championship. There's a snap back to Lopez. He goes back to number 20, Tony Cirillo. He's in trouble, and he's going to be tackled at the 18. A great play defensively by the Gordon Longhorn, Chris Chamberlain, who was injured earlier. He had to come off the field limping. And apparently, he's called Jenny because he made a great play there. And you know, I'm thinking about something great play there. Going up to 48 to 16, look a lot better from a Gordon perspective. Look a lot better from a There's a big, big difference here. It's only eight points, but still, the way the ball game is going to there's a lot more time now for the Gordon Longhorn to really get back and do something. Just down 28 16. Only a pickup of a yard. As Woodrow goes into a spread formation, there's a pass across the middle and a lot of the yardage for number five, Jason Cook, but a heck of a tackle there. Number 33 for the Longhorn, that's Jeremy Jackson, who made a great open field tackle. Cook Cook down, let's see where they mark it at the 29-yard line, so it is short of the first down, it's going to bring up third and four for Whit Harrell. Just a good play from Jackson. Into the spread formation again. Michael Lopez is free. He has a couple of men behind him. There's a pitch back again to Cirillo. He's around the right side, has the first down and more. He's at the 40 at the foot race. He comes back across the field at the 30 to 20. He'll go in for six points for the Wind Hill Panthers. My goodness. Tony Cirillo all the way down the field. A 51 yard touchdown. But I tell you what, what that was again. Downfield block. We have, a, hey, we have a penalty on the play, don't we? We do have a flag. Oh, it's against Wood Hill. It's against Hill. And that is providence for the Gordon Longhorns. So that was going to put a huge burden again on their offensive goal. It will be a first down for Wood Hill. But they take that six points off the scoreboard, importantly, for Gordon I tell you what, when your quarterback is going downfield and blocking, and bust his watch, he's doing all right. There's a pitch back to Rogers. He wants to throw the ball. He's looking deep, and the ball is caught. But let's see. I think we're going to have offensive pass interference. The ball is caught, and it's a touchdown for Whit Harrell. 
but that was Jeremy Jackson back on the coverage, and I believe he was pushed off. Chamberlain was off the field again. Uh, looks like he may still be limping a bit. Now we've got Sacker, quarterback. He's in the back of the fumble on the play, and up for two. 